Welcome to Puerto Rico. <laughs> we take the Jose de Diego Expressway towards the west of the island. We stop by the coastal town of Arecibo. The main attraction lies about 20 kilometers inland, so we take this winding road through the mountains towards the Arecibo Observatory. And we have arrived! There's a short walk from the parking lot into the place. They have all these signs forbidding cell phone use. I guess they have some pretty sensitive equipment in there. The Arecibo Observatory was uh, built in 1963 and it is the largest radio telescope in the world, measuring about 1,000 feet in diameter. And we'll get to see it soon enough after this small exhibit we have to visit. Yes, it's a meteorite from Mars. How the heck do they know? Here's a model of the telescope and finally, here's the real thing. The giant dish has been part of the plot of many films and TV series, most notably the movie Contact and The X-Files and one of the Bond films. What we look here at the three reasons. The first one is our location. Rico is located 18.5 degrees north of the equator line and this gives us a 40 degree window of opportunity to study the universe. The rock flyer is 305 meters of diameter at over 1,000 feet and it's composed of 38,778 perforated aluminum panels just like this. Okay? The rock flyer is not touching the ground. It's suspended 15 feet above the surface. In some areas it could be more or it can be less. In the parts that are more close to the mountains, the difference can be of one to three. Okay? The towers are three and they are named by the hours in the clock. This is the tower 12. That's the tower 4 and that's the tower 8. Okay. The tower 12 and the tower 4 are 265 feet. And the tower 8 is 365 feet. This is because the tower 8 is in a lower terrain and they needed the three of them to be at the same elevation so that the platform will be balanced. Okay? The antenna is the one that we use to study the atmosphere. That is one of the layers of the atmosphere. The Wolverine Dome is the one that we use to see the unit. Inside the Gregorian Dome, there are about 10 different antennas that send the radio waves on from the reflector and then go to the space. But when the radio waves come from the space, it bounces from the reflector and to into the Gregorian Dome. And inside the Gregorian Dome, there are two more reflectors. The radio waves bounce up there and then travel by the catwalk from the fiber optic cable to the control room that is in the other side of the mountain. That's what the scientists are, okay? Okay, fascinating. And the nature around us is quite beautiful. Well worth a quick visit, but right now, it is time to go. That's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, uh, so follow me there too if you will and visit the blog at roadnomad.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, riding with my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV, yeah, I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free. In my